Hi, my name is Jean-Pierre Biazol. I'm an interior and industrial designer and a plum ambassador. When I was approached by the plum team to design the chandelier, I was very honoured and excited about the opportunity to work with such a highly motivated and enthusiastic team. It was coincidental that I was making my return back from Italy to Melbourne um, to design this chandelier for the Spring Carnival at the Lavazza Marquis, which happened to launch Plum's new glassware range. I like using a very sleek, modern approach, natural materials, uh, designing things in a way that it's, it's almost timeless. You could have a look back at 10, 20 years and, and still think, wow, um, the architectural details are, are quite intriguing. It's been great to affiliate myself with, with Plum as they're such a young and innovative team and, and group of people, uh, highly motivated, supporting young and local, local talents. The Plum Red A is very special to me as it was the first glass we used for the chandelier. I knew I wanted to use this one as soon as I saw it. Because of its height and its balance, um, I love the way the light hits the glass and reflects through the glass. Plum Red B has a very unique shape with its soft lines and curves almost very feminine and seductive, similar to the wine styles it complements. Plum Sparkling is a very sleek and fluid glass. Slender body combined with its thickness, it gives the glass a very elongated elegance. I use this glass for the second chandelier as when hung upside down resembles a very precious stone. That's what he loves about his design. He wants to bring happiness and joy and impact people's lives at the end of the day. I think I've only broken one. Yeah, we haven't broken any And it wasn't my yet. fault completely. Hey, it wasn't <laughs> mine either. I think Melbourne uh, really has a lot to offer with its, with its cultural and architectural varieties that we see throughout the city. Design for me is really a way of communicating um, using all my resources and knowledge, uh, giving something a creative form and more importantly giving, giving an emotional experience. <laughs>